you've heard of people who are energetic vampires. If not, you've experienced somebody who has the ability to give you a headache or make you feel tired all of a sudden every single time you're around them. There are occasions when you're in a very good place that maybe they won't drain you as poorly. But the reason that this happens is because they are either jealous of what you have or who you are. They look up to you or they are like, I've experienced someone who is like a void. Like, uh, it's like a black hole. And it literally sucks the life out of everything it encounters. And I'm just like, grateful that I experienced it because now I can give you answers. But it's a crap feeling. Someone, it's like point blank, someone wants what's yours. And that person is literally taking your life force. You can look up online how to protect yourself from psychic vampires. Sage, a rose bath, candles, invoke white light, chant, stand outside, Call a friend. Who says that? Someone like spirit just said that. Like, yes. Let's transfer. Let's steal energy from somebody else because someone stole our energy. You know, you call people when you don't feel good. You're taking their energy. Okay. No. Don't do any of that. When you encounter someone who is draining you or just someone who does not feel good to be around. But I wanna, I wanna focus on draining you. That psychic vampire has punched a literal hole through your aura and is sucking the life force out of you because you, they're not happy. And if they were happy, they wouldn't do this. So point blank, you know that they're not happy or they've looked to you in some way or you're just friends and you're trying to lift them up, this person, as soon as you focus on anything, it's getting your energy. You focus on them, they want your life force, boom, they're in your aura. There is a hole in your aura and a life-sucking vacuum clearing you out. It feels like crap. It can really, it can really mess you up. We always, want to push that person away. You want to push that mentality like away from you. You want to like cut cords, people will say, but you still aren't getting recharged. It's dicey, depending on the level of uh, toxicity that this person is. Because I've experienced people who will give me a slight drain and I can just cut them off, push them out and I'll recharge myself and it's fine. But I've encountered people who literally will just like, it's just like you see a picture of them and your life force is out the window. And like, they're just this soul sucking monster. And it's not their fault, we'll get to that. But what you need to do when you encounter toxic people is you take your energy back. You can do that. They cannot use your energy unless you say, okay, you can use my energy. When you push them away, you're just pushing more of your energy at them because they literally created a hole that they've attached to and they take all of it. Pull your energy back. And it's so easy. It's so easy when you understand that they cannot take your energy unless you allow it. You bring it back to you. What's mine is mine. You step back into yourself and you close the door. The way that you can do this is you can, I don't want you to try to do this because the more you try to do this, the more your mind's gonna be like, well, what if this and what if this? 
It's very simple and I want you to keep it simple. You don't feel good about this person being around you. They make you feel sick because of the way they drain you. You think about how you felt before you talk to them and bring that feeling back to you because that's yours. And then you close the door to them where you just like cut them off mentally and you don't think about them. And you've done this properly when you stop thinking about them and you don't feel their energy in your space anymore. People make the mistake of thinking that psychic vampires are pouring their negative energy on you. And they're not. It's a one-way street because this person is sucking in energy. But they, they like... Eh. Anyway. So do that. Pull your energy back to you. Step back in into yourself. Close the door.